This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Aloha and welcome to Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. We broadcast live every Thursday from 2 to 2.30 from the downtown studios of Think Tech Hawaii in beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii in the Pioneer Plaza. We focus our stories on success in Hawaii, successful businesses and individuals uh, that seem to somehow make it work here in Hawaii despite all the challenges, the regulatory issues, the cost issues, you know, all the things that businesses are, are faced with every day, uh, but we do have successes and we talk about those here on the show. And occasionally we invite organizations that come on that help businesses be successful. And today we have one of those organizations, uh, the Pansy Mink Center for Business and Leadership. They've been on the show before. We've got Terry Funakoshi here, who's the director, and we have Colleen McInlerney, who is the program manager uh, for the Patsy Mink Center, and they're going to talk to us a little bit about what's going on, and it's apparently been a very exciting year this year. <laughs> so is. Terry, what's what's going on? Well, we had a really successful year, uh, tremendous success. We've hit all our benchmarks, you know, I was joking with Colleen, we did about over 8,000 hours of events last year. Well, we've been joking about that <laughs> because um, the normal work year is, what, 2,080 hours, so yeah. that's, that's a lot of work, Colleen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that includes volunteers and it other does. people that help out, you know. But, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, but that's that's great. That's eight thousand yeah. hours of help to the, mm -hmm. the small business community, predominantly women-owned businesses. Is that right? Correct. Uh, yeah, I think last year we helped ninety-nine businesses. Ninety-nine. Eighty-three percent were women. So we just missed that hundred mark, but this year we're we're guaranteed going to pass that. All right. So you're going to hit the triple digits this time. Exactly. Um, but you you've also done a lot. There's there's been a, a very busy year for you. Uh, uh, you know, seeing more clients, doing mm -hmm. more hours of, mm -hmm. of training, um, and I've seen you out in town a little right. bit. The visibility has been increasing yes. a little bit. Yeah, our goal this year was really to um, brand the center and get awareness. So we've participated in many events. You know, gone to work. We've created workshops, partnered with the community. Uh, Colleen has been instrumental, and Kelly, our uh, coordinator, we've just scouted everything and partnered with our SBDC partners, our VBOC, we've hit the veterans. We've increased our veteran reach from when we started from 12 to 192. Wow, and that's it, a big increase. Yeah, so we're very proud of those numbers. Um, and SBA has been very helpful, you know, getting us out there in the community. Well, that's very good. And where do these, uh, just out of curiosity, mm -hmm. being a veteran myself, mm -hmm. where do these veterans come from? Are they just all over the islands or are they predominantly from different places? Well, we partner with the veteran, Veterans Business Outreach Center to attend the Boots to Business sessions that they right. hold. A majority of them are at Schofield Barracks, okay. but we also do some at the Marine Corps, at, or the, um, at the um, Kaneohe Marine Corps base, yes. Right. And then um, there's one other, but majority at Schofield. And so what happens is they do present a two-day entrepreneurship course and we have interest in our Launch My Business uh, program through that. So they want to come to us for more of a detailed program. And just out of curiosity, with this Boots to Business and, and what you're doing with the military, is it half women, half men, or, or what's the breakdown? I mean, I'm just curious as to you know, how much interest uh, some of the military has in having their own business. Right, so a majority of them are men coming from the boots to business, but it's also available, it's also open to spouses too. So uh, a lot of the wives will attend with them or we do of course have um, female veterans come as right. well. Well that's, that's the part that I'd like to you know, mm -hmm. focus on a little bit is because you know, the, there's a lot of females in the military now and mm -hmm. a lot of them are, are coming out and they're, they're needing to do mm -hmm. something and there mm -hmm. seems to be a, an interesting opportunity for them here uh, to, to learn about having their own business and, and you providing the guide uh, for them to do that. Very good. Um, is that an area that you're going to be focusing on going forward? It definitely is. Uh, we noticed that um, with the military wives especially, um, they're great. We had some of them uh, in our innovate in our innovation. Um, oh, innovate, innovate her. her. Yes. The SBA um, uh, event where to pitch their um, ideas. Mm -hmm. So what we noticed is they come, we help them, and then actually, you know, they, they move on to out of state. So we don't actually get to track mm -hmm. those, but we've had several, you know, that we've helped while they were here, stationed here. So, and they're great uh, contributors to our community. We had um, one of our clients open a yoga shop in Kailua. 
and she's also helping the community and she also gives back to veterans you know have PSD and all those types of things so I mean in so many ways it's so great uh, to help to help it them is. Mm -hmm. it is. Uh, tell me Patsy Mink Center I mean mm -hmm. obviously Patsy Mink w was one of the leaders here in Hawaii for many years um, tell me a little bit about the history of the center how did it come about and and why is Patsy's name linked to this? <laughs> Well, the center is named after Patsy T. Mink because she was the first Asian woman from Hawaii to be in the U.S. Um, Congress. And uh, we, we went to her daughter, Wendy, and we asked permission to use her mom's name because she was such a transformative leader. You know, she stood for peace, equality, education. And so Wendy, you know, graciously agreed. And she said, you know, as long as we have a leadership piece in there. So today we have the Leadership Alliance, and uh, we call them Mink Leaders, so after Patsy. So actually we have 22 um, in our cohort today. So, and they're graduating in June, so we want to come back and talk to you about that. All right, so that's 22 graduates. And, mm -hmm. and what's interesting, and, and to put this in a, a little bit of perspective, mm -hmm. um, Patsy Mink that did this, mm -hmm. how long ago, 20, 30 years ago? Yeah. Let's see, Title IX, so because of Title IX, that a lot of that recognition she gets. Is right. because so of it was a while ago. I mean, right in the 80s. Today, yeah. it's a little bit more common to, to see people like Patsy in leadership roles on the mainland in Congress. Mm -hmm. But back then, it was a novelty. There wasn't yeah. a lot of people doing that. And, and right. she really, I think, in a lot of ways, broke that glass ceiling for some people. Mm -hmm. She did. She was a, an advocate for women and for children, you know, for the Title IX, for uh, athletes. So it was very important. Good. So that was a real accomplishment, and it's mm -hmm. a great honor for her to have this mm -hmm. center. And, and okay, so the funding for this comes from where? I mean, Patsy's involved. She's got her fingerprints and her name on this thing. <laughs> her daughter's in, involved. Mm -hmm. um, how does it all work? I mean, where does the funding come? Uh, well, we are a women's business center, and we're funded in part by the SBA, the Small Business okay. Administration. So we do have a grant, but we need to seek um, matching funds for that grant. So we look to the community and businesses out there for sponsorships. You know, we have four main programs, two in the leadership, the Leadership Alliance, the Girls' Summit, and then we have entrepreneur programs, Launch mm -hmm. My Business, mm -hmm. and then we have Personal Pathways. So four unique programs, but we need sponsors to help us uh, you know, deliver the programs. Well, you know, this this is a, a perfect type of program that I would think a lot of banks would be just all over trying to, you know, here, give me, here's some money, you know, let's do this, because that, that's exactly what they need. Yeah. That's where they get their business from. That's where they make their loans. Yes. And so I would imagine that you've got some bank sponsors and people interested in, in helping out. Well, we do want to, we do want to put a shout out there to Home Street Bank for, uh, for sponsoring our girls summit at least the last three years in a mm -hmm. row that's and great. that's been a yeah, tremendous right. help for us definitely so yeah. they've they've been a constant supporter there and uh, Central Pacific Bank is also a wonderful supporter of ours they are. they're always out there they're doing things yeah. all over the place you know they're yes. very engaged you know and it's it's great and and what I like about that is it you know it's really a, a uh, at least for the most part, a woman manage a woman leadership type of bank now. Right. You know, and that's to me that would be the perfect profile that you're mm -hmm. looking for to get engaged to to really become one of the sponsors for the the Mink centers. Right. Uh, you know, to set that example. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Um, you're looking for more sponsors, or do you have enough? <laughs> we're always looking for yeah. more sponsors. We yeah. are. We we were fortunate enough to have Kaiser Permanente sponsor mm -hmm. be our uh, lead Good. sponsor for our Leadership Alliance last year, mm -hmm. and of course we're hoping for that again. But we're always looking for more sponsors, and we actually need we need um, the the most this year for our Launch My Business, our small business course. And when is that? And so we are starting our our cohort. Our first cohort this year starts in about two weeks, February, okay. and then we run it three times a year. So the next cohort would be in June and then in September. So if somebody wanted to come in and be a sponsor for that June cohort, what's the process? How does that work? So they just need to give us a call, yeah. or they can check out our website to see what to see website. our whole program. Yep. And where, where and what's the address for the website? That's mcbl-hawaii.org. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, and I'll probably ask that again a little yes. later. Uh, but they can go to the website, or they can give you a call. Yes. Uh, and then they would say something like, "I want to be a sponsor for the next uh, cohort in June." Mm -hmm. uh, and then you talk to them. And then what are some of the benefits? I mean, someone will write a check, give you some money, pay for cover some of the costs, and all that. And then they get an opportunity to 
get a little engaged with the process. Right, right. So what we would do is we would naturally we'd put them on our website and acknowledge their gift. We would also um, have their information on any of our program. Mm -hmm. The flyers and the information right. to go out. Right. Include them in our center's media marketing. And then we'd, um, we would also announce who they are at any of our, a lot of our events that we have. We have a lot of networking events, a lot of women's events throughout the year. And so mm -hmm. we usually acknowledge our sponsors then too. Yeah, Very they, good. And they really um, enjoy um, you know, being a part of the program. So one of the benefits is also we invite them to the orientation, the launch, the graduations, mm -hmm. and they can really engage with the um, participants, the cohorts. And I think that's the, the real reward when they do a sponsorship. Well, it is, and there's 22 people generally in each cohort. Our leadership is 22 right now, but our business cohorts, we like to keep it at about 15 to okay. eight, because the cohort itself is really important. They, those entrepreneurs help each other out. You know, from the start of their business to, to the growth. But they get, yeah, they get pretty close they during do. the process. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And they, they feed off each other and they're uh -huh. also great support to each other as well. Right. well. But having a sponsor involved in that process is good for the sponsor mm -hmm. uh, because they, this is exactly the type of businesses that they want to have mm -hmm. a connection with. Um, but it's also a good way for them to have some of their staff come out and get to know these people and start right. building relationships. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can give you a good example. We just um, honored our first entrepreneur of the year through our Launch My Business course, uh, Jessica Kamanao, and she has high cravings. And she really worked well with the cohort, with CPB, with SBA. So I mean, that just goes to show, you know, how the relationships build, and and she's, you know, has is very successful today. So good, well, yes. and that's that's a good story to share because that's that benefits both the members of the cohort, but it also benefits the sponsors, and that's right. it's a win-win for everybody. Yes, mm -hmm. the way it should be. Very good. And so, if they uh, reached out and let you know that they were interested and and they were comfortable, um, and then all of a sudden, when does the promotion start for this June one? So the promotion for June, well, uh, let's see, probably in April, okay. I would say, because our this our current cohort eleven is going to graduate the m the end of March. So we'll definitely start promoting for okay. the first. And of so April. That, and the, they'll get a good two or three months of mm -hmm. promotion out of this and visibility and, and oh, relationship definitely. building, and, mm -hmm. and that's good. That's excellent. You know, they can get a lifetime because we have an alumni series too, so. Well, yes. there you go. <laughs> so it never right. ends. So this could go on for quite a while then. And I guess the longer you guys do this and the more yeah. cohorts you have, the bigger that alumni association becomes. Exactly. Right. I mean, you know, for our Girls Summit, you know, we have sponsors like Colleen said, Home Street Bank has been instrumental. Um, so it's a private school and a public school. It comes together and we do a day summit and, you know, workshops and keynote speakers. So now the interest that the high schools, more high schools want to come, mm -hmm. you know, we, and we don't charge the high schools, the public schools, but we can't, we can't, you know, our capacity is at, you know, yeah. to the limit because we need more funding. So that's a goal is to get more funding and so we can invite more high schools to attend. Well, and that's a good time to, to be able to start building those relationships is that mm -hmm. as they come out of high school and they go on to either careers or college or having businesses, you know, I mean, it's, it's a good opportunity. Right. Well, we're going to have to take a short break. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to be, I guess, taking about a 60-minute break. But uh, when we come back, we'll talk some more, maybe about the specifics of the different programs and, and how that all works. And for people who are interested in participating, how do they sign up and, and what that process is. So uh, this is Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. Uh, we're here today talking with the Patsy Mix Center for Leadership. And we are going to take a 60-second break, and we'll be right back. to know will you watch my show I hope you do it's on Tuesdays at 1 o'clock and it's out of the comfort zone and I'll be your host R.B. Kelly see you there
Welcome back. This is Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. We're here today talking with the Patsy Mink Center for Business and Leadership. We've got Terry, who's the director, and we've got Colleen, who's a program manager. Uh, we just got a really good overview of what the center does and, and all the different uh, areas that they're involved in in helping the, the business community, uh, the, the woman-owned business community. Uh, and we're going to get into the details. We're going to drop down into some of those specific programs right now. So what are the most popular programs you offer right now? Let's see, our most popular program is our Launch My Business program. And it's, it has grown so much now that we've had to break it off into two uh, courses. Well, that's good news then. Definitely, definitely. So this year we're offering our Launch My Business Grow course, which is a seven week, 45 hour course. Wow. They meet twice a week and they go, it's, it's mainly for businesses who have been, have been opened and in business for a year to two years. So it's to help them grow what mm -hmm. they've already opened and started. So what's, what's the, uh, to grow and, and get bigger? hopefully profitable mm -hmm. at the same mm -hmm. time. Right. Um, and, and just briefly describe what's in that program. How do people learn how to do this? Right, one of the biggest, or one of the, the, the most questions we get are about financials. Mm -hmm. So they want more information about their taxes, more information about just overall, their overall financials. And then a lot of them are actually looking at financing for the first time. So they want to, and a lot of them haven't got a business plan yet either. Entrepreneurs are known for rushing into opening and then dealing after uh, that. I, I can't tell you how many times I've heard, I said, do you have a business plan? And they go, of course, it's all up here. Yeah. Right. You know, which is a great place to be, but it's hard to edit and, and stay on top of it exactly. when it's not there. Right. So we don't specifically, um, we, they, they don't specifically write their business plan in the course, but we definitely give them more tools and are there to help them with it if they want it. And then the start class, we have the Launch My Business Grow, then the Launch My Business Start is a newer class that we've, we've begun, and that's a four-week, eight-hour course. And that's specifically for women and men who have an idea, they're mulling it around in their minds, mm -hmm. and they don't really know where to go from there. They haven't registered their business, they, they just aren't quite sure what it looks like. So that's more of a product development course mm -hmm. if you need help on on just figuring out what direction you want to go. Now, is is the start one a relatively new? It is. Program? This is our first. This will be our first okay. time having it, and it starts on February thirteenth. February thirteenth. So I would imagine at some point after you've had a few of these start programs, some of the graduates, after they've been around for a year or two, would end up going into the grow. Correct. Program, and so there there be that linkage between the right. two. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Uh, and so, now, for example, if I was a brand new person, brand new person. <laughs> client, brand new client. If I was a new person coming to the the Mink Center, uh -huh. and I said I wanted to get into the grow, uh -huh. and so I sign up, and is there a fee? Is there an application process? How do you make the selections of the people who want to be involved? There's definitely definitely an application process for the grow course because we want to make sure there isn't too much disparity among among the members of the cohort. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, um, it, it's, it, it kind of hinders the process. So there is definitely an application process. It is a $400 tuition for the well, class, which for that comes out class, to less than $20 a yeah, class. Less than 20 very reasonable. Yeah. <laughs> definitely, definitely. And another thing about our Launch My Business, uh, or our center is we offer free business and legal counseling mm -hmm. out of our center. So most of our clients that attend Launch My Business are already our business clients. Mm -hmm. Right, so you've done some mentoring or coaching or advising to them already. Right. Now, we, we had a brief conversation before the show and there was another type of professional you're looking for too, isn't mm -hmm. there? Right, go ahead. Yeah, well, we always get requests for, um, you know, with the finance. So we're looking for a CPA. Uh, CPA. I didn't want to bring that out. Right. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, well, we all know how important CPAs right, are. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, uh, we offer free services um, for our legal. And so we thought, you know, to marry that, a CPA would be great. Mm -hmm. You know, and so just to expand our services, if anyone is out there that would like to maybe volunteer some time, that would be wonderful. Right. And we're not talking about a big commitment, we're no. talking about what? 
And what kind of a commitment? A couple of hours a month. Yeah. Yeah. We so, do one hour counseling uh, mm -hmm. sessions. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be doing some uh, client's taxes or anything like that. It would be answering their questions. Mm -hmm. And uh, because a lot of times we'll, we will recommend that they get an accountant and they just have a lot of questions first that they want to. And some of them can be very elementary and, yeah. and as the business grows and matures they can get a little bit more sophisticated but mm -hmm. again this could be another opportunity for once those relationships are built there might be some business there for some of the CPAs exactly. that want to get engaged. Oh, definitely. Uh, it could also be a good opportunity for some mature practices to, to bring some of their staff in uh, mm -hmm. to help out and give back to the community a little mm -hmm. bit. You know, so if there are any CPAs out there, and I know this is a bad time of the year to be asking, <laughs> uh, but there, there is an opportunity to volunteer with the Patsy Mink Center right. uh, if they are interested. And how would they, how would they let you know this? They go to the website, and that website is? The website is mcbl-hawaii.org, and our phone number should be on there. They can directly call us, or they can email us also. Okay. Uh, and then they'll just let you know the interest, and then you'll follow up. Yes. Very good. Um, all right, so they, they apply, they pay the fee. The first day of class, they come in. There's going to be 15 people there or whatever, and what happens? How does it begin, and where does it go? Well, before she kind of explains the program, I just want to let people know that we do offer scholarships, and that's, a, and that's an important piece where, you know, we have sponsorships. You can even sponsor um, some of the classes where wow. that we'll do scholarships because we do, you know, try to help the economically disadvantaged. So on the application process, you know, if you are struggling, we also take that into account. So we do like to give, you know, a few scholarships every cohort. Very good. So, yeah. Very nice. And so if they needed that or wanted to explore that, there's a box or something mm -hmm. they can check Right. Yeah. So, you know, we, we try to make it a even um, playing ground for everyone. That's so, this. Yes. And a lot of people need that too, yes, I guess. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's important. Mm -hmm. um, and so once we get past that and, and mm -hmm. the scholarship or the mm -hmm. money or whatever the financial piece of that has been addressed, um, now you begin this program. Um, and it, is it a group-based program? Uh, mm -hmm. and I guess that's where the relationships start to build mm -hmm. and they become almost, um, you know, they work together right. going forward. It, it is collaborative mm -hmm. for sure. I mean, some people, uh, if they have a patented, patented um, idea or yeah. product, mm -hmm. they are a little worried sure. about that, but it's they don't have to be too specific when right. discussing it with the class. There's always that. And sometimes people are shy about sharing their financial right. information. Oh, of course. You can understand that. Yes, mm -hmm. definitely. But it is, it is very, uh, as the course goes on, the cohort becomes very close. Mm -hmm. They stick together after their graduation. Mm -hmm. They uh, they definitely support each other. Well, and they talk about marketing ideas. Mm -hmm. They talk about maybe some management challenges that mm -hmm. they've had. You know, some experiences maybe going out and applying for capital. I mean, right. there's there's a, a whole body of knowledge that they're going to be mm -hmm. uh, taught. Mm -hmm. And then there's going to be the collaboration and the sharing that kind of reinforces that. Yes. You yes. know, and so by the end of this uh, program, they're going to be fairly knowledgeable about all the different components uh, within the business that mm -hmm. they have to be at least have an awareness and some comfort with in order to be successful. Yes. Right. And what's uh, unique about our center is that after they graduate, you know, we keep in touch with them. We have an alumni program, so they, c they can come back to the center, use our services, and we keep in touch with them. You know, we always want an update as to how they're doing. And that's why we always create, you know, new workshops, what's needed. So, I, you know, I'm sure you're going to come do your tax workshop for us. And, you know, yeah. <laughs> so, of course. Yeah. So, you know, so it's, so that's different. We care about the people. We want to make sure that, you know, whatever stage they're at, we're there to help them however we can. So. And how often does the alumni group get together? I guess this is a growing group because as you mm -hmm. do this, more often that group is going to be growing. But mm -hmm. how often do they get together? Well, we try to offer an alu one alumni event a year where we bring everybody together. They all share their stories, Good. update everybody. And mm -hmm. it's since we have, this is our 11th cohort starting mm -hmm. now, um, they, have, they have a chance for each cohort to then get together mm -hmm. and try and meet up. So we do that once a year. And then we also offer them a number of ways to, uh, to market or showcase their business. So we do a client showcase at our downtown Uncorked fundraiser in November. And then we this year we implemented a uh, client kind of a holiday craft fair. 
that was in conjunction with the um, YWCA Dress for Success um, sale that they have at the end of every month. So that was really nice for them to be able to show their products. They can do some market research if they're not really fully up and running, or they can sell their products. And it's a great networking opportunity to build up some advisory type of communications, you know, yes. because, mm -hmm. you know, there, I'm sure that collectively there's a lot of experience in mm -hmm. that room. Right. At the last client showcase, it was funny because we had some of our alumni there and they enjoyed it so much. They, they're creating another group of alumni, a committee, so that we can do more events. Because, you know, one thing being located at YWCA Oahu, it's the perfect um, venue downtown, and we can use the facility to hold these client showcases. So, you know, it's, it's a wonderful place to showcase. Well, and it's a showcase. big room. I mean, there's, there's a lot of facility space right. there. You can do yes. a lot of different things. Exactly. And if, if you don't like the speaker, you can just throw them in the pool. Exactly. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Which means I'm not going by the pool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's good. Well, and, and some of the other programs that you've got, you've got a lot of training going on. You've got mm -hmm. the Alumni Association going on. Mm -hmm. um, anything else going on that you guys are, are you know, trying to help out with the community? Oh, we've got a lot of we've got a lot of programs uh, going. Uh, you know, like what we just said, our leadership program. Okay. You know, so our girls summit and. Um, uh, that's right, the girls summit and right. then the leadership. And, the leadership and how do Alliance. they differ from the the training that we were just talking about the uh, the growth and the start. Uh, well, leadership is, so in our center, we do 50% leadership and 50% entrepreneurship, okay. basically. And, and it kind of blends together because we really feel that you need to, personally and professionally, needs to meld together. Well, exactly, because mm -hmm. once you have a successful business, you're going to have to have right. some leadership talent exactly. in there to continue to lead it. Right. So our leadership programs really take that into account. We have a personal pathways, you know, that really helps you because, you know, to be a leader, you need everything. So that, again, we do have entrepreneurs and um, leaders come in and give facilitated talks and workshops. So again, that's a, another program that we, that we focus on. Very good. And mm -hmm. when is that next? Let's see, our next, our leadership, our current leadership alliance, it's a 10-month program. Wow. And mm -hmm. it's for, yeah. um, basically for mid-level uh, women in leadership positions. At the moment, it's our second cohort, and mm -hmm. at the moment, we have a majority of corporate um, mm -hmm. corporate women leaders, and they're looking to expand their expand their network. They want some more want to learn more leadership skills, mm -hmm. and uh, the goal our our ultimate goal, of course, is for them to hit the C suite. Of course, so yeah. that's what that's what we're hoping. Yeah. And so we'll start uh, the marketing for our cohort three in April mm -hmm. and then that would start in September of this year 2018. Right. And what is is there a cost for that as well? 10 months. That's a long time. It is. So. It's it's $3,000. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. And it, that's that's still for a 10 month course. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. Yeah. Yeah, and I would imagine you get a real fancy certificate and, and an award program. Oh, definitely. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's great. Yes. And if people wanted to find out more about that, they go somewhere on the internet. <laughs> yes, so they're going to go to our website, which is mcbl-hawaii.org. <laughs> Good. I think everybody will have that memorized yeah. by the yeah. time we're done. <laughs> Good job. All right, we we got about 30 seconds left. Any final words? I mean, any special needs that you have? We already know that you need a CPA to come in, and and you need some uh, help and sponsors, and you're mm -hmm. always looking for people to to go to the different classes and, and programs mm -hmm. that you have. What else? Anything? Well, I think our main message is that, you know, we are a women's business center, but we do help men. 20% is men. Um, and God knows men need to help. Right. <laughs> and, you know, we're, our niche is just really helping. We, we're there to help you and to make sure you succeed um, from start to finish, you know, whatever you need. So uh, please use our services. Well, very yeah. good. Pauline, anything? No, I was just going to highlight that uh, one of our most wanted services are free business and our free legal counseling so mm -hmm. if you have an idea out there and you want some help with that come mm -hmm. and definitely come and see us yeah. well we really appreciate you being on the show today thank yeah. you very much thank for the, the update and congratulations on a record year and <laughs> don't work so much next yeah. time yeah. Right? It's all her. All right. <laughs> this is business in hawaii with reg baker we broadcast live every thursday from 2 to 2 30. hope to see you next week until then aloha <laughs>